There are a couple of stages to go at the Tour de France, and one American cyclist is showing that being last isn't always the worst. Lawson Craddock, a 26-year-old Houston native, is in position for the notorious La Tourne Rouge. He crashed in the first stage of the race, fracturing his shoulder and cutting his face, but he turned it into a positive. He started a GoFundMe for his former practice track in Texas, which has raised over $100,000 in just 17 days. And cyclist Lawson Craddock joins us now via Skype from Tarbes, France. Lawson, thanks so much for being with us. How are you feeling? Can you explain what happened in the first stage? Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Uh, definitely feeling a bit tired now at this point, but yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it, I guess it's about two and a half weeks now, uh, two and a half weeks ago, the, the start of the tour this year. Uh, I, was, I was really excited to, to make the team, to to be here to support our leader, try and uh, make a bid for victory. And about halfway through the, the first stage, I, uh, you know, during the, the feed zone for, for the riders where we, where we get bottles and food from the side of the road from our staff, uh, someone in front of me dropped a water bottle and at our speeds and, you know, with, with their, you know, the bikes that we're on hitting, a hitting a bottle like that is pretty, can be catastrophic. And, um, uh, you know, it kind of sent me careening off the, the side of the road. I went head first into a spectator who, who fortunately is okay now. Um, yeah, and pretty much knew immediately that did some, did some damage some somewhere, but you know fought through, and I'm really really happy to still be here after stage 18. Oh gosh, that looks really painful, and we are sorry that happened to you. And and you know not only are you fighting fatigue now, but you also have to bike through the pain. How how have you been coping with it? Sometimes you have to bike over cobblestones, don't you? Yeah, um, no the. The first few days after the the crash were were incredibly painful, and uh, even now it's still you know I can still I still tweak it and 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 when I pull it on pull on it the the wrong way I can still feel it. But um, you know the the tour they haven't taken it easy on us this year. You know we've we've had an incredibly difficult race. Um, you know stage nine uh, the day before the first rest day we we rode over basically the the worst roads possible. Uh, uh, that you can find in France and, and pretty much anywhere in the world. So that that took a, a few days for my body to recover. But you know we've got a great medical staff here uh, working on me day in and day out, um, and, and that's really helped help keep my body prepared for the for these stages and, and help keep me in the race. So some cyclists say they would rather come in dead last because then they get to win the La Tourne Rouge. How do you feel about that possibility? Yeah, I mean. I definitely did not come to the tour this year uh, having a uh, Lantern Rouge as a, as a goal of mine, but you know that's kind of how the the race unfolded for me. Um, you know, it's been a very challenging race for the entire peloton uh, over the past two and a half weeks. I think we've lost over 30 riders who've had to go home, whether that's from injury or fatigue or or whatever. So just the fact that I'm, I'm still in the race is. Uh, you know, something that I'm really proud of. I've had a fight tooth and nail to, to make it here. Uh, you know, we have one more incredibly difficult day, day tomorrow, which will be a big challenge for me. But, you know, I'm looking forward to the fight. I've uh, I had a lot of support that, that's got me uh, to this point, And, you know, I, I just can't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just can't wait to get through tomorrow and, and focus on Paris. Well, we are all very proud of you here in the U.S. And after the crash, let's talk about the GoFundMe page that you started for your former practice space in Houston. What motivated you to start raising money? Yeah, it all started really uh, a bit before the tour. Um, my my shoe sponsor, Lake Cycling, you know, we, we kind of came together to, to – Try and raise some money for for the track, the Alcake Velodrome, uh, out out in Houston, and so we we created these uh, these uh, Houston Strong shoes uh, that we would auction off uh, to, and where our proceeds would go to the Velodrome. And then after day one, you know, I wasn't sure we, uh, if I would still be in the race long enough to to really put the auction on. So I uh, kind of looked for some some more motivation. I was laying in bed that night and. It's like okay, let's let's try and turn this whole whole negative into a positive, and and that's where we kind of came to the, the the decision to say okay, you know what, 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be in this race for one day or the entire three weeks, but every day that I am, I'm going to put $100 into into the future of the track to help, uh, you know, uh, repair it after Hurricane Harvey last year and, and just set them up for, for a really good future. And it's been truly incredible just to see the, the support that I've received and the support that the whole velodrome has, has received. And uh, yeah. that, that's been my big <laughs> It, it's been uh, so overwhelming and so heartwarming to watch. How much have you raised at this point? Do you know? Yeah, we're, we're over $135,000, which Amazing. is completely all of our expectations. You know, it's it's truly incredible, uh, you know, the generosity that everyone else has shown, you know, that every day I kind of wake up in the morning, I check it, I check it before I go to sleep at night. And, you know, when, when times are tough in the race, I kind of, you know, remove myself from from the tour, and, and I think about the, all the good that we're doing, and uh, it, it's been a huge part of the reason why I'm still here. Austin Craddock, you are a true competitor, and you will be back for another tour. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Here, yeah, thanks, Tanya.